to me, how do people treat you as you get older? Uh, yes, people, uh, as I grow older, people uh, consider me uh, uh, wiser. And uh, that too is I was a kid of the Depression. My dad, his brothers, every, they all went belly up. Everybody was broke. The great aunts and grandparents always had an expression that when somebody was making a buck, he was a good provider. A good provider. That was a sound I heard a lot. And uh, all I ever wanted to be was uh, a good provider. Oh, I had seen Carol O'Connor in a Blake Edwards comedy called What Did You Do in the War, Daddy? And I never forgot his face. He walked in and read, I don't think he finished the page before I knew that was, uh, that was Archie Bunker. I wrote those lines. He gave it his soul. The thing I love about Archie and Edith is they both talked a lot of they didn't really know uh, what they were talking about, but they had strong points of view. That's what most of America is about. I love doing plays, because they are plays, in front of a live audience. There develops a chemistry between the individual players and the audience. How does she communicate to people? You see, Robin thinks, Words are a waste of time, so she speaks with her eyes. Oh. <laughs> well, open up wide and let's hear the Gettysburg Address. <laughs> On the air at one time, there was All in the Family and Maud, the Jeffersons, Good Times, One Day at a Time, The Facts of Life, Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman, Fernwood Tonight. People used to ask when all that was going on, you know, like you're under a lot of stress. There is stress and there's joyful stress. The stress I was under was altogether joyful. It ended with 240 live people sitting in an audience laughing. Go beat that. It all added time to my life. Hi, I'm Norman Lear and this is my brief but spectacular take on uh, all the things that made me wind up with the life I've led. Thank you.